Hey Nagios community, I'm Benjamin and I'm so excited because in this video we're going to download the core services platform and install Nagios XI that's included with that two different ways. First using a virtualization method that's recommended because you can literally get set up in just a few moments. But if you're really wanting to do the manual install on a command line, I'll show you that as well. But first, let's start off at Nagios.org. All right, we're here at Nagios.org with everything there is to know about the core services platform. We have, first up to show you, we have two download buttons. We have one at the top here for downloading a zip file that you can extract. And then we also have down here underneath the disk icon, a link here to download an ISO if you prefer to use an ISO instead. Uh, elsewhere on this homepage, we have information about all the different components and plugins that are included. There's some really great things in here like NCPA, our Nagios cross-platform agent. So you can easily monitor different components of your Windows or Linux computers and other things. We also have NRPE, Nagvis, there's so much included. So it's all great. It's all in one package and it's released just for you, the Nagios community. This is a celebration of 25 years of award-winning monitoring excellence and a global community that has been monitoring everything imaginable from beehives to rockets. There's so much to keep track of so you can focus on doing other important work and Nagios is there all along the way for you. Now, we're gonna install this and I'll walk you through other videos on how to get set up monitoring, but just know at any point along the way, if you have any questions, we have the forum here at the top. You can jump in there and ask the Nagios community, hey, this is what I'm experiencing. What's going on? What do you think? And the community will respond. All right, if you're ready, let's get started. I'm gonna download the zip file and I'll install it using a virtualization method. So download the zip file. And once you've downloaded the zip file, extract that and then open up these folders. The first one is called csp-latest. Inside that is CSP ISO. And then inside that, you see all the different parts of what's included with the core services platform. A team is my favorite. That's photos of the great team behind Nagios over all these years. We have extras and parts. These contain great plugins and components that are available for you to use as well. All right, we also have an installation guide PDF, if you want to re refer to that. We have the license for the special distribution, and we have the OVA file as well. And this is what we'll be using to install right now. So I'm going to be using VMware Workstation, but you can use any virtualization program that uses the open virtualization format. So ESXi, VirtualBox, those will work as well. So from within my VMware workstation, I'm going to click on open a virtual machine. I'm going to select the OVA. I'm going to give it a name. So we'll call this now yes, CSP for life. And we'll click import. Okay, it's imported and ready to turn on. But before we do, let's just check the settings to make sure it's looking good. We'll click on edit virtual machine settings and we'll look at our memory, two gigs. That's great. Processors, two. Hard disk, 40 gigs. This is our recommended starting place. Also, let's make sure our network adapter is bridged so we have access to the internet. Now, if you want to do an offline install, you can disable this and go from there. All right, so we'll click OK. This all looks good and we'll power on this virtual machine. So what's happening in the background is we provide a basic minimal install of CentOS and have pre-installed Nagios on top of that. So it's just opening up all this right now. All right, it's powered on. All we need here is our default root plugin and the password Nagios XI and the IP. We don't need to do anything else in this screen. We're gonna now go to the web browser and log in. All right, we're at the welcome screen here. We'll click access Nagios XI and review some settings. We have our URL. You can choose your time zone that suits you. Choose a language if you prefer a different one and use your interface theme. Modern Dark is a heavy favorite and I'm really liking this new Neptune that is experimental and has just been rolled out. I'm gonna select Neptune and also very important under license type, don't use trial or don't use free. That's limited. 
you want to click on license because we are giving you a special license. So on nagus.org, you would have noticed a CSP50 listed there. That is your product key to use so you get access to Nagios XI and these features for free for life. So we'll put that in CSP50 and click next. All right, so we have our username Nagios admin. I'm going to change the password to something a little difficult, something like that. And let's see, we'll keep our name, keep root at localhost, leave on notifications, and click finish. All right, it's complete. We have our username, we have our super secret password, and now we'll click log in. All right. And we'll click log in one more time. The first time you log in, it'll ask you to review the license agreement. You can do that here and then check this box when you're completed and click submit. And we're logged into Nagios XI. If this is your first time installing any Nagios product, welcome to the Nagios community. We're so glad you're here. If you're ready to continue monitoring, click to the next video and we'll start monitoring with hosts and services using configuration lizards where you can just do a few clicks and be monitoring what matters to you. If you want to do a command line install manually on Linux, keep watching and we'll jump right into that. You may want to grab your favorite beverage. It could take a minute. All right, if you're still here, it means you're ready to install Nagios XI using the manual method. For this one, I'm going to start off with a clean minimal install of CentOS Stream 9. Login is root, and when you're ready, type in yum install wget. It'll ask you a few questions. Enter Y to approve. And once it's finished installing, we'll clear and then type in wget https colon slash slash assets.nagios.com slash downloads slash csp slash csp dash latest dot iso you can also change it to dot zip if you prefer to download a zip file but i'm going to download the iso once that's downloaded i'm going to clear and then next you want to type in sudo mkdir slash mnt slash ISO. And then after that, we want to type in sudo mount dash O loop slash root slash CSP dash latest dot ISO and slash MNT slash ISO. Okay. All right, we'll list that. Check out our contents here. All right, we got csp-latest.iso. So then we'll type in cd slash mnt slash iso. We'll do a detailed list here. And here you can see the folder structure similar to the zip file we downloaded in the virtualization method. You have a team with photos of the great team from over the years. You have the OVA file we used in the first method. We got our installation guide and we got a parts folder and we got the readme and the license and we have a tarball. So we want to copy that tarball file. We'll type in CP XI 2024 R1.3.tar.gz slash temp to copy that to our temp folder. We'll change directories to our temp folder. We'll list it, make sure it's good. And when it's looking good, we'll type in tar xzf and then xi-2024r1.3.tar.gz. Okay, then we'll go into cd slash tmp slash nagios xi. Now, when you're ready at this point, type in dot slash full install and hit enter. And that's going to execute the install script. 
During installation, it's going to ask you to set some passwords for MySQL. You can set a custom password, or if you want, just hit enter and it'll assign a default password. I'm going to allow it to set a default password for all of these password requests. And the installer will continue. All right, installation is complete. We're ready to log in. Take this IP address from the bottom, go to your web browser, type that in. And we'll select access NagaSXI. And then go through the general system settings like we did in the first method here. Set your password, some other settings, and then when you're ready, log in using that username and password. And you can access Nagios XI for the first time. All right, so that's the manual method for installing Nagios XI. We hope it goes well for you, but don't worry. If you have any questions at any point, just hop to nagios.org, join the forum, and you can ask the Nagios community any questions you have about your process and what you need. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the best content on how to monitor your IT infrastructure. And keep watching. The next video will show you how to start monitoring your hosts and services in just a few clicks using our powerful configuration wizards.